November 29th, 2022 in Trinidad, Colorado, Kenneth Espinoza and his son Nathan were driving separate vehicles to take his truck into the shop. On the way there, Officer Mikhail Noah suddenly pulled Nathan over for following his vehicle too closely. That kicked off a series of events that would ultimately spiral into an egregious display of police violence. Since both Kenneth and his son were traveling in the same destination, Kenneth pulls his truck over behind Officer Noel's vehicle approximately 75 feet away. Officer Noel gets out of his vehicle and approaches Nathan to explain the reason for the stop. Deputy Noel with the Sheriff's Office, let me get your driver's license red. Pull that dog. Allie, get back. Can I ask why you're a little snappy? What's the problem is? What's the problem? Yeah. Yeah, you're following too closely. Can't you see the roads are icy? You see me slowing down and you're still crew coming up behind me. There's no reason it's for you to be doing that. The it's it. not good. Don't tell me how I should be driving. Okay, I'm in a mark. All right, well, I'm in a... That doesn't give you the right to follow a mark patrol car close like that. What if I had to stop? Meanwhile, as Kenneth and Noel are talking, Officer Henry Trujillo pulls behind Kenneth and approaches on foot to give some instructions. Do you need to be behind this traffic stop? Yeah, I do. Why? It's my son right there. He was following me to follow. Okay, he's on a traffic stop, so you don't need to be behind it. Well, you gotta be near. That's what we get paid to do, to pull people over. Well, you don't get paid to be a fucking asshole. You're and a you don't either, okay? I don't gotta put up with your bullshit. In fact, you need to leave now, or you're gonna get charged, okay? It's not a public... No street? reason. Do I not pay... Okay. Do you always stop behind cops when they pull people over? I ain't stop right behind him. You need to go. No, I okay. don't. I'm waiting on my son. Right, He's fine. Right back. At this point, Officer Noel has finished speaking with Nathan and begins walking towards Kenneth and Officer Trujillo to see what's going on. Hey, you don't need to be here. I ain't you don't need right to be behind here. me, okay? You need to go. No, I okay. don't. I'm waiting on my son. He's fine. Right, right back to Wilson. Leave. Officer Noel, like Officer Trujillo, did instruct Kenneth to leave. Kenneth, perhaps not wanting to make matters worse for his son, decides to comply with the officer's request and starts driving away. What happens next is an alarming escalation in violence. Now he can stay here. Stay! Stay! Hey! Stop the fucking... Stop the fucking out car! Not the fucking car! Get out the fucking car! Get out the fucking car! What are you gonna do? You gonna... SD4, SD4, give me the radio! Get out the fucking car! You gonna... Get out the car! Get out the fucking car! Get out the car! Get, get out the fucking car! Get, get out the car! Get out the car! Get out the fucking car! Stop it now! Get out the car! Get out the fucking car! Get out the car! Hey, no! Get out, Get out the, car. the car! Hey, Nate, do you see this? Get out the fucking car! Instead of allowing him to leave, the officer out of nowhere changes his mind and orders him to stay and draws his firearm. He draws his firearm even though he was complying with Officer Trujillo and this order. Officer Trujillo comes back over and draws his taser on Kenneth. As Officer Trujillo attempts to wrench Kenneth's arm through the window, Officer Noel decides to take things even further, switching his pistol for a taser and getting to the passenger side of the truck. Get out the car! Paul stay put Get out the fucking car! It has nothing to do with anything. They don't have jurisdiction over it. Get out of the car! Get out! Put it in the car! I just did, huh? Sit down is off. You don't pull away from me! I'm not! You're gonna get lit up! I'm not! Okay, you're gonna get lit You're breaking my heart, man! Hold on, I'm gonna get out! Get out the fucking car! I'm just Get out the car! Can you hold on? I'm not. Get out the car, man. I'm trying. Get back over there now. I'm trying. You just stay there and record. Can you guys get out? Hold on. Now. I'm getting out. I'm not fucking. You're under arrest. I'm not. Get out. Turn around the gate truck. I'm just. You're under arrest. Get out. Okay, guys. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands. your hands. Put your hands behind your fucking back. I'm going. Put your hands. I'm going peacefully, son. Settle down. Now they have Kenneth out of the car and begin cuffing him. And in the heat of the moment, both officers say the quiet part out loud. This, this is fucking crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, guys are you do what you're told, all right? You think it's okay just to roll no, up on traffic I'm, stops? No, I'm and not do what you're told. Now you go to jail. That's all right. I'm a Turn around and face the truck. I'm all right. As they struggle to get Kenneth into the police vehicle, they decide to take things even further, shooting him in the face with a taser. Get in the car. Get, get in the car. car. Get in when you motherfuckers are. I'm gonna fucking, fucking tase you. Get in the car. Get in the get fucking car. Get in the fucking. Get in the fucking car. You know. 
This is fucking ridiculous. SC4, take the deploy. At this point, additional officers have begun to arrive on the scene, and Officer Noel starts giving his version of events, saying that Kenneth was giving Henry lip and began driving while the officer was holding onto the car, which body camera footage shows to be completely false. Meanwhile, Officer Trujillo hasn't had enough and decides to confront Kenneth one more time, starting another interaction that escalates quickly. Where's your ID? You have your wallet on you? Don't do that, man. I'm going to get you out. I'm going to pat search you. Now get out. I got my wallet. Get out now. Get out of the car, the car now. Get out the car. Okay. God okay. Damn. This is how it's going to work. Okay. You're going to do what you're told to do. And that's it. Stand up. Get up. Up against the car. Spread your feet. Once they have Kenneth's wallet, they put him back in the police vehicle and give another exaggerated version of events. Officer Trujillo then gets in the car with Kenneth and turns off his body-worn camera footage, which is not only against the law in Colorado, but against county policy. According to the lawsuit, later filed by Kenneth's lawyer, Officer Trujillo called other members of the department on his way to jail and said, get the chair ready. We're going to fuck this guy up. That's in reference to a restraint chair typically reserved for particularly violent arrestees. He was also quoted saying, Do you think this uniform is a fucking costume? Do you think I'm just dressing up for Halloween? And when the medical personnel arrived to take Kenneth to the hospital, it was Officer Tree Hio who insisted that he be the one to drive him. Later in the report, he said that Kenneth admitted his actions were wrong while they were at the hospital. But Kenneth insists that this conversation never happened. And Officer Trujillo, body-worn camera, was disabled the entire time. This incident is unbelievable. In the same breath, these officers told Kenneth to leave, only to draw their guns seconds later and ordered him out of the vehicle when he finally complied. And the fact that Officer Noel later changed the story to make it sound like Kenneth's driving away was a threat to their lives is a deplorable attempt to cover up their actions. He was just trying to look out for his son. Any good father would do the same. Probably shouldn't have rolled up his window as the officer was approaching. Calling the cop a fucking asshole definitely didn't do him any favors. But neither act was illegal, and it's not a civilian's job to de-escalate the situation. It's the officers. Instead, the officers, they forced him out of the vehicle handcuffed him, then shot him in the face with a taser while he was defenseless. Why? Because he was guilty of the worst crime of all, offending their egos. The fact that Kenneth remained defiant and didn't follow orders made Officer Trujillo lose it. Both times the officer physically restrained Kenneth, he said, you're gonna do what you're told, indicating that his use of force had nothing to do with upholding the law and everything to do with asserting his authority. The entire incident was just one giant tantrum. Unfortunately, when this case goes to court, the cop's egos won't be the primary factor in the jury's decision. The big question will be whether or not the law was on their side. This incident started with the question of whether Kenneth was legally required to move the vehicle as Officer Trujillo requested. Now, applying New York law, I would say if there's any law he was breaking in this situation it would be obstruction of governmental administration, also known as OGA. But proving OGA requires intimidation, physical force, or physical interference, none of which are present here. Now, one could try to argue that police officers have an authority to manage traffic and enforce parking regulations for safety and order, but the officer wasn't directing him to move because he was obstructing traffic or parking in a restricted area, so his refusal to move wasn't illegal either. Now, that doesn't mean Kenneth made the smart decision here. It's never a good idea to antagonize a police officer. But from a legal standpoint, it doesn't appear that he was breaking any laws. Officer Trujillo and Officer Noel, on the other hand, are in clear violation of Colorado law. Colorado statute, which is similar to New York's rule, states that on use of force by police officers, that peace officers, in carrying out their duties, shall apply non-violent means when possible before resorting to the use of physical force. A peace officer may use physical force only if non-violent means would be ineffective in effecting an arrest, preventing a escape or preventing an imminent threat of injury to the peace officer or another person. In this case, none of Kenneth's behaviors indicated that he was trying to escape or posed an imminent threat to anyone. Now, despite Officer Noel trying to make it sound that way after the fact, it wasn't happening. He even told the officers that he was trying to comply, but was unable to because Officer Trujillo was hanging onto his arm, hanging outside of the window, and Officer Noel was tasing him inside of the vehicle and saying nothing of their decision to tase Kenneth in the face while he was already handcuffed and in police custody. There's not a jury in the world that won't consider this whole thing an excessive use of force. So how strong is Kenneth's civil rights case? In the lawsuit he has since filed, Kenneth accuses both officers of excessive force, false arrest, malicious prosecution, and failure to intervene. We've already established how 
strong his excessive force claim is. And I would say his claim of false arrest is just as airtight. As for malicious prosecution, he was originally charged with second degree assault on a peace officer, obstruction of a peace officer, resisting arrest, and reckless driving. But as we discussed, the officers had no legal grounds to make him leave. And all other charges were the result of Officer Trujillo insisting Kenneth drive away. So he has a strong claim for malicious prosecution as well. Kenneth doesn't stop with the officers though. He also lists the Los Animas County Sheriff's Department in his lawsuit, including the sheriff, the undersheriff, and the board of the county commissioners. They seem to have intentionally overlooked Officer Trujillo's violent past, which according to the Kenneth's lawsuit, includes multiple crimes and should disqualify him from law enforcement. Some of the charges against him have included felony menacing with a weapon, harassment, and fighting in public. According to the lawsuit, he's also been the subject to restraining orders in five separate cases and assaulted his paraplegic brother in argument over baseball cards. And in 2017, Officer Trujillo shot and killed an unarmed man while on duty. According to reports, when pressed for copies of internal investigation into his behavior, the department claimed not to have any. As it turns out, they don't have investigations into the wrongdoing of Officer Noel either. In fact, Los Animas County Sheriff's Department doesn't have a lot of documentation they're supposed to. And Kenneth's lawsuit paints a clear picture of an organization with a culture of violence and a practice of covering up any wrongdoing of their officers. So in addition to suing for justice over his mistreatment, Kenneth is also suing to bring accountability to a police department that actively encourages police misconduct. I'll include a link to the lawsuit in the description below for those who want to read more. Based on all the information included, I would say that Kenneth has an extreme strong civil rights case and is likely to receive anywhere from $100,000 to $300,000 in damages. More importantly, his lawsuit might finally force a corrupt police department to face consequences for hiring unqualified officers and allowing them to terrorize the citizens they're supposed to protect. That's why it's so important to take the police to court when they violate your civil rights, because sometimes it's the only way they will ever be held accountable for their corruption. So if you believe your civil rights have been violated by the police and would like to file your own lawsuit to get compensation and justice, you can contact me for a free consultation at 888-SUE-CITY. That's 888-783-2489. Remember, I don't win your case, you don't pay a dime. And if this is your first time on my channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos about protecting yourself from the police and holding them accountable when they abuse their power. I make this content to help you understand your rights and learn to exercise them when it matters most. So click here, watch this video next, and I'll see you there.